morning, Urna Bees. How are you today? <coughs> How are you today? <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, <clears throat> losing my voice. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Good times. Uh, oh, there we go. That's better. Uh, so, yeah. It's, I don't even know. What is it? Um, yeah. I, I don't even, I have no idea what the day is. <clears throat> my brain is just a mush right now. Uh, I have a cooler here. And I'm rushing to work because we are refilling the freezer that has all the popsicles and everything in it for this weekend for the market. So, um, there's a bag of ice in there, but... Hopefully, I'm going to get this stuff to work before <laughs> bad things happen. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I went... I, it's, it's interesting how, how the universe works. I... Um, oh, I've got fluff all over me. Uh, this morning, I kind of had a bit of a dip in my faith in the shop. I, <clears throat> I'm wavering and I don't know if it's because I'm tired, if it's because I'm overworked right now, if it's because I, I have no idea, but I have this, <sighs> I have this feeling like, see, I've got a clause in my lease that says in February, it'll be a year. And I'm allowed to leave if I want to. I just got to give the three months notice. Um, and then I can close the shop and I can leave without any penalty. And I'm sitting here thinking, I think I'm going to take that and close the shop in February. Because I'm tired of the travel. I'm tired of busting my ass just to make rent. I'm tired of constantly having to ask George to help me financially to pay the rent and to get stock because there's only like two or three months out of the year where the shop is really making money to be able to sustain itself and the rest of the time, it's a struggle. It's it's definitely a seasonal town, and I'm I'm tired of making someone else rich. I'm tired of of just struggling to pay someone else's rent, someone else's mortgage, whatever. Um, my dream is to be able to have a house where we can have an offshoot of the house or a, like a, a separate garage or a um, she shed, if you will, on the property where I can have my shop there. Then all I'm doing is paying, you know, I don't have to worry about paying an, a stupid amount of rent. I'm not going to be stressed out. I'm actually going to enjoy having a shop. Right now, I'm not enjoying having a shop because I'm paying somebody else's bills. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I am i don't like the feeling that I have. Um, so I was thinking I'm going to do that and then go to doing farmer's markets and, and craft fairs again. I've never done summer farmer's markets. I have one in Nanaimo that is every Thursday. It's apparently a big, big one. And that um, it's something that George will be able to help me set up and tear down uh, without any worry. And then I get in the car. And the minute I get in the car and close the door and turn the car on, a song comes on the radio here's a picture. <laughs> I had to take a picture because I just couldn't believe it. It's called I Still Believe. 
and I thought, oh, <laughs> so what is that trying to tell me? I'm big on signs, right? So, yeah. So, it's only July. I can't believe it's already July. Ugh. Who knows? Maybe if I do the crochet classes, maybe it'll generate enough money to sustain the shop. I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to do crochet classes? Not particularly. You know, I just, I don't know. I'm so up in the air right now. I just, I know it takes like three years to, two to three, two or three years for a shop to be successful or whatever. But you know what? I don't have, I don't have the time or the money to wait that long. My shop has been open since February of last year. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> um, so, yeah. I just don't know. I just don't even know. I, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit and listen to music, drink my coffee, eat my yogurt, and contemplate. Hopefully this weekend is going to be a good one, a successful one. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're supposed to be getting some of the hottest days this week. Um, so hopefully I can sell lots of ice cream and whatever. And uh, people will come into my shop. Okay, let's do it together. Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be everything that you need it to be. Um, everything is, it's going to be everything I need it to be. And uh, I've gotten lots of sleep in the last couple of days anyway. So that's good. But I can feel it in my jaw. I'm feeling tense. I'm feeling the stress. So good thing I'm getting that massage today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Good morning, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Oh. Oh, I am exhausted. Um, yesterday was our giant market. It went phenomenal. Phenomenally, fantastically. <laughs> it was great. Um, I've never done that street market before. And I'm so glad that we decided to do it because it was, it was unbelievable. We just, you know, whatever. Somebody's giving me the thumbs down because I'm, I'm going over the speed limit and they're still trying to get in the other lane anyway. Um, so anyways, yeah, it went really, really good. We were supposed to open, we were doing our startup at 8 o'clock and we were actually a little bit late but um, the market didn't start till 10 so we had lots of time well <laughs> we started setting up and I just started getting the tumblers and mugs out and we had a family come in an indigenous family and they, they've, they've been around Shimanis for a long time. We, I've recognized them um, from the market. And they bought eight tumblers right off the bat. The first one to go, of course, was the crow tumbler that I made. It was really pretty. <laughs> and, uh, and then it just went from there. And then I guess they went and told other family members or whatever. And then they'd come back and they'd buy more. And that started the ball rolling for us in a big way. Next thing you know, we are going crazy. And I put all those earrings out that I was going to sell for a buck a pair. I had more fun watching people digging through the big bins that I put out. And laughing and having fun 
and they had like their friends and family were coming and going, oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> I'm going to get this one for so-and-so. And it was, it was a hoot. It was a real hoot. I was skeptical. I, I will admit I was skeptical. I didn't know how that was going to go. Uh, and it actually went very well. So we had a really good day. Um, so, so good that I almost, almost paid my rent for next month. Let's just say that. God, you guys are like down really low. Like what's going on? So yeah, it was good. I mean, George was a champ as always. He, um, he knows how to sell. He really does. Um, but he didn't have to do a whole lot in the sense of selling because people were coming to us and they were just buying, you know. Uh, it was a second thought in my head to bring out a few other things from the shop. And I'm glad I did because uh, they went well. So I have some orders as well. I think I've got two or three t-shirt orders and a tumbler order. And, you know, so I'm going to be busy. Um... I just finished the crochet halter top that I had a lady order the other day in the forest green. Oh, did I even tell you guys about that? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm using Heartland uh, in the for that deep forest green. It's beautiful. And then I'm using the black speckled uh, Heartland for the outline. Um, I, all I have to do is make the straps for it. I'll show it to you when I'm at the shop. So I'm almost finished that. So that's one order down. The other stuff, um, Terry, my friend Terry. Hi, Terry. Uh, she was at the market yesterday. It was hot. It was hot. Today is going to be even hotter. It's 10 o'clock and it's already 28 Celsius. Um, so... Yeah, it's gonna, today is going to be the hottest day of the week, I think. So, Bailey's at home, pissed off at me. Again. <laughs> She's been at home for like three days. She's not impressed, but you know what? I would rather do that and save her from the heat. As it was when we came home yesterday, last night, she was panting. And we had the fan on and everything, and she was still panting. So, I took her in the bathtub and dumped her in the water she was much happier after that <laughs> so, but um, yeah so yesterday was absolutely wonderful the only issue is is that we were so tired and we just wanted to go home so we just threw everything in the shop just dumped it in there and um, now I have to go and clean it up so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna get the shop back in order we sold so many tumblers yesterday that I'm going to have to really get on uh, making some more. Thank God I put an order in for tumblers and they came yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm going to do some new designs. And um, yeah, the mugs didn't sell as well as I was hoping. Um, I, I, yeah, but... I mean, I sold a few, but not. it wasn't like the tumblers. So, you know, which really sucks. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I'm so tired. You know, I, pain? Oh, my God. I hurt so bad. Like, yesterday, I couldn't even walk. My feet hurt so much. And my back was sore. Everything started to seize up. So, oh, yeah. I took some painkillers this morning. Oh, oh. Um, what else? Oh, I got a call from my doctor. An actual phone call from my doctor. I, the doctor that took over for my doctor that is only going to be there for you know a couple of months or whatever <laughs> um, and she is going to put me back on Ozempic which she 
said if she puts the requisition in, we'll be covered. Thank God. Um, because $300 a month is not something I can do. Um, so I'm, she's going to take me off the Jardians. Because <clears throat> the other medications that she was talking about that she wanted to put me on. Well, hang now. Um, it, it's not covered. And it's just as expensive. So I told her, I said, you know what? I would much rather take a shot once a week than taking a, pill, a couple pills every day. Because I, I can't remember. I can't remember. My, my brain is just... I, mm -mm. I can't remember five minutes from now, right? Like, it's just, it's not good. I don't like it. So, so we're going to do that. I'm just waiting for the approval to come through. And, uh, what else? Um, she's going to give me some Toradol for pain, like for my head stuff. Like if I'm in, if I'm having migraines and stuff again, or if I'm having really bad back pain, she's going to give me a, a few Toradol just to have on hand, just in case. So that's good. Um, but uh, I've got an appointment with an endocrinologist, but I've got to do some blood work and everything um, and do a week's worth of pricking my finger and checking it out. So, <clears throat> yay. <laughs> and then we'll figure out the whole diabetes thing. So, oh, um, they also want me to get an MRI of my left ear canal and all of that and my head to find out what's going on with this pain and everything. They said it was, it was probably TMJ, but they want to make sure because my hearing is still whacked. Like today it's pretty good, but then on other days it's really bad, so we're going to check that all out. <clears throat> but anyway... Um, yeah, so I'm going to be making um, some tumblers and everything in the next couple of days. Terry, my friend Terry, is going to take over the shop for me for a couple of days so I can do all these orders and everything. Thank God. Oh, Terry is awesome. <clears throat> Love her to bits. Uh, she's feeling a lot better, apparently, So, but I'm going to keep my eye on her. Because she's the type that could say, you know, oh yeah, I feel great. And then the next thing, she's in the hospital. So, <laughs> so yeah. I'm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh, did you see MJ Off the Hook's new tutorial for that dress? It's kind of like this, along the lines of the Swifty dress, except it's granny stitch squares going down the front and the back. Just when I said I wasn't going to make another dress, <laughs> I might be making another dress. So, um, yeah. And I might be making it in the, that yarn, this, this one, this one. I might. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. <laughs> Anyways, I'm coming into Shimanus and I've got my AC here. So I got to try and figure out how to make that work. <clears throat> And, um, yeah. But, oh, let's do it together. Are you ready? Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be everything that you need it to be. Um, oh, I wish everybody love and happiness. And, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm loving you and all of that. Okay? I will talk to you guys later. Hello, Yarnabees. Guess what? Today is, what is today? Today is Tuesday, 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 I think. Could be Wednesday. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> uh, and it's like 1230 in the afternoon. And I'm at home. Yay! Um, Terry has taken over the shop for a few days so that I can be at home and make some, get my orders finished and make some stuff for the shop and relax. Uh, man, 
that girl, she, she's awesome. I, I look like a ragamuffin. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, she basically, I went in yesterday to drop off the order. I finally got the order for the visitor center finished and they've got their stuff. Um, so I went and I dropped that off and then I popped in to see how Terry was doing and she basically kicked me out of my store <laughs> and she says, don't come back for two days. Oh, <laughs> okay then. So, so yeah, so I got to relax yesterday afternoon and today not so much, but you know, um, I had to go and get my blood work done for this new endocrinologist. And so I did that this morning. <laughs> I was a bad girl. I, <laughs> I went to the bank yesterday. God, my hair's a mess. I went to the bank yesterday to try and open up another account for, so I can store all my business taxes in it. And then I don't have to worry about it at the end of the year. And he says, yeah, sure. He says, give me your license and whatever. And he said, no, he says, we, we need to update your license on your account. Oh, okay. So I gave him my license. He says, you do realize that your license expired in May on your birthday. No, I did not. <laughs> So I've been driving around for a couple months with an expired license. Yay! <laughs> Holy crap. That could have gone like way, way bad. Um, so I did that today. <laughs> I went and I got my license redone. <sighs> Things happen for a reason, you guys. I'm telling you right now. Terry came in right at the right time for me to get this stuff dealt with. God, I want to get this cut like this, this, I, I, this is too long here and it's not, it's like going, I hate it with a passion. Um, anyway, uh, so I went next, now George is trying to call me. He can wait. Um, so I went and I got that done and I went and got something at the drugstore. <laughs> I've been assimilated. I'm a Borg now. <laughs> so, mm, God, I've got so much going on here. It's crazy. So, yeah, I got my Libre. Uh, Jesus, these things are expensive. I don't have coverage of any kind. So I had to do out of pocket. Luckily... Um, the pharmacist gave me $20 off <sighs> and then I found out that if I had a shopper's drug mark card, I'd collect points and then I could use it, use the points for the next Libre. Well, I don't really shop that much at shopper's drug mark, but, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to start. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> So anyway, so yeah, I've got it and it's weird. I was sitting there crocheting and it beeped and it showed my baseline was actually 6.4 or something and it was green. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. Because when I went into the hospital, what was it last week, the week before, whatever, it was at 10.8. So I don't know what I did because I don't feel like I've really been um, eating all that wonderfully. Oh, excuse me. In the last week. And it went down. So yay. Um, I haven't heard yet whether I've got the okay from the medical to have my Ozempic covered, so I'm not on that yet. Uh, what else? <clears throat> um, yeah, so there's that. So I just got to wait till tomorrow to find out what my blood work says, and I'm sure that will get sent off to him. 
So I've never used this. I, it was a bit to get the app going for this Libre thing, but <clears throat> I don't have to touch it or anything. It just shows what's going on there. So yeah, I thought, oh, all right. Ouch. God, my leg is... Invasion. Hello. Go away. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that it's going to... I'm going to see how it goes in the last little while. i got to figure out how to use this thing. But I'm hoping that it's going to track on its own. <laughs> and um, I set a timer thing for doing my first thing in the morning one and then my one in the evening because they want the before eating and at, um, before breakfast, before dinner or something. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, train. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. Anyway, so today I am going to do something that I haven't done in quite a while. I'm going to start making amigurumi again. Um, insurance be damned. <laughs> For those of you that haven't been here before, my business insurance said that I, I can't make kids clothes or anything like that and have it in my store because they won't cover me for it. So, whatever. I'm going to make amigurumi and say it's for adults. Yep. So, I was going to start making a snake because my the two snakes that I made when I was at the market, they sold like gone. Um, so I was going to make another one. And then I remembered that I had started one a long time ago and I stopped making it because the head to me seemed really small, but I found it. I pulled back the whole body and I started using something else. So, so I started using the, oh boy, um, Moody Mosaic. It's one of my favorite yarns. I love this yarn. Is it? Yeah, I love this yarn. Prince, Moody Mosaic. My absolute, one of my absolute favorite yarns. Uh, I, I just can't get it in Canada. <laughs> so anyway, so. <laughs> Here, here, here's my little guy. <laughs> um, this was the head that I started. Oh, can you see that? Here's the eyes. Um, and then I decided that I was going to use the Bernat blanket for the body. Um, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> way down a little. This is the Tweeds, Bernat Blanket Tweeds. And this color is Ivory Tweed. All right. I think I just I showed this to you already. This was the yarn I think I used for my Cruella de Vil sweater. So what I did was I used some there and then I used a bit of the Moody Mosaic in between. So, so that's what he kind of looks like. Um, I'm going to go for as far as I have the Moody Mosaic. And I've only got ooh, that much left. So I'll see how far that takes me. And then I'll finish off the tail. Um, I don't know if I have enough. I'll finish off the tail with that. So, being cute. I got a cute little, I'm, I'm thinking I might put a little mouth on him. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I want to make another one, but the next one I want to do all in velvet yarn. Because the ones I did before, the velvet yarn looked really good. I really liked it. So, but I'm just using what I've got right now to finish this guy off. And then I want to make some pickles. I have some eyes coming. I ordered them on Timu. I've got some kawaii eyes coming. I've never used kawaii eyes before. So I'm going to try that. Oops. I'm going to try that 
um, and then I have some glitter ice coming as well. I want to get 35, 30 or 35 mil eyes. They're like, they're like big. Um, so I want to get those to make some other animals as well. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's everything. Uh, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'm just going to close out this video. I'm still recovering from the weekend, so yeah. <laughs> there's that. I don't know if there's anything else I had to tell you guys. Don't know. Don't know. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, do all the things. Don't forget I have a uh, membership down below um, if you'd like to join. If you don't, that's okay. It's just there. <laughs> and I guess I will talk to you guys there. I've been slacking on the membership. Sorry, guys. But I do have an idea. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go. And I love you all. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>